Hi, it's me again, another video. I've never made so many videos in my entire life. So basically I've had um, a request about the, something about the monsters. So the question was, I assume about this list of what monsters are in the book. And then the next one is about monster activation. So within the scenarios, there are monsters already allocated to it. So I won't tell you what they are because... I think it's quite, I mean, if I do that, then, you know, when the book arrives, you'll, you'll know all about it. So it'll be a nice surprise for when the, the book arrives. So basically, monsters are within the scenarios um, set up by the author, of which there are, if I just remind myself, there are... Boom, 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 ten scenarios. Then there is a section about creating your own scenarios. So, you, so that means you can cr create monsters, whatever monsters you want, stuff like that. And then there's the solo play where there are four scenarios where the monster is already built in. So, um, with the monsters themselves, there is actually a monster chart, and this happens in the initiative phase of the of the um, of the game. So, at the beginning of the game, you have that initiative phase where each player must make an initiative check, and the player who rolls the highest is the primary player for the turn. And there is an initiative phase for every turn of the game. Now you roll a 2d10, if you get a double one or a double 10, then that activates a chart. So on a double 10, we get what they call the unexpected events table. And that is um, nothing to do with monsters. It's all to do with things that happen like it rains, it's fog, there's an artillery strike, uh, stuff like that. And then there is a monster phase if you roll a double one then you get an unexpected encounters table and then you roll a d20 or whatever it is or d10 2d10 and you get a selection of potentially 18 monsters i'm just going to film the page quickly but basically that's the page there very very quickly and I'll leave it there for a minute or two, so you can have a quick read of that, and of course you can pause it and read it. So those are the monsters within the within the actual rules, and they are um, they have all the stats for those. But um, as I said before, this game is not only has he created ten um, unit ten um, um, scenarios, he's also created a, um, a create your own scenario thing, and. Um, he says, you know, he basically says, well, it's not necessary for every game to, in the similar way to feature a monster. It's usually more fun when monsters are involved. So you can um, create your own monsters. Um, you know, you can either use them that they're already in here, or you can create your own. I mean, if you've done Dungeons and Dragons, you can come up with all sorts of great monsters and do the stats yourself. So that's quite useful, really. So basically, just to uh, clarify, there are monsters within the scenarios already. That's within the 10 he's done plus the four um, solo ones. And then there is the, if you roll a double one, there is a, a surprise monster encounter. Now, I suppose if a game has six turns, I don't know how many chances are you rolling double one in, in six turns, I've no idea. Uh, and then there's obviously the, uh, the create your own monsters, either build a scenario yourself or you can put in whatever monsters you want. I mean, I suppose if you're going to do like a gothic castle, you might put a vampire in. If you're going to do like a, a marshland, you might put like a some sort of troll in, whatever. Um, so the actual monsters then very briefly are, just so we know, I'll read them out in case you can't read my uh, my filming because I'm not very good at filming. The monsters are, just bear with me a minute. There is a demon, a troll, a black dog, possessed, Goblin, ghoul, vampire bat, revenant, bandit, cultist, hobgoblin, dark wolf, living scarecrow, changeling, living armour, pixie, ghost, werewolf and vampire. And I hope that's of some news to you. Uh, any more questions then please feel free to ask. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.